Welcome to our Christiana Care Coronavirus Update. Chief Infection Prevention Officer Marcy Dries is here with us today to talk about the coronavirus and how we are being impacted here at Christiana Care and what we are doing to keep both our caregivers and the public safe. Dr. Dries, thank you for joining us. Let's start by talking a little bit about our caregivers. It is, has been confirmed that there are a few caregivers who have tested positive for COVID-19. How are we taking care of them? Obviously, we're making sure that they have the medical care that they need, the emotional support that they need. Um, we're also obviously taking a broader view of who they might have been in contact with. So really, as soon as any caregiver develops symptoms that may be consistent with COVID, we're removing them from the workforce, testing them if needed, um, sending them home, or telling them to stay at home. Um, and once they're confirmed, we really do what's known as a contact investigation to, to identify everyone that they may have been in contact with, making sure that they know that they were exposed, um, looking for symptoms, you know, and, and work restrictions if needed. Um, and so, you know, by kind of rapid isolation and then, or rapid identification and then isolation is how we hope to, you know, prevent spread within the hospital. And while the caregivers are working in the hospital, they're wearing personal protective equipment or PPE. So talk a little bit about what our current policies are on that. So, you know, I think as everyone's aware, um, nationally there are PPE shortages. Um, some of it was a uh, production side, you know, things that we normally would get from China are no longer available. Um, and a lot of it has been the increased demand that's been kind of concurrent across the whole country. So everyone is really demanding these materials at the same time. So our supply chain has been fantastic in terms of sourcing, looking for new sources, ordering as much as possible just so uh, to make sure that we don't run out. Um, that said, we do also want to make sure that we're being wise about how we're using the PPE. And even though these things are all considered single use disposable, we know that if we burn through them at our normal rate, given this increased demand, um, we may not have enough for next week or next month or three months from now. So we're kind of working on both sides to preserve what, you know, conserve what we have. We have protocols in place to do what's called extended use, where someone, say with a mask, they put it on, they leave it on, they don't touch it. It's actually more dangerous to be taking something on and off um, than it is to just leave it on, because every time you touch it, you risk the contamination. Um, and then again, we're, like, we're looking to source uh, new things and we're actually looking, well, hopefully this week we'll have our protocols finalized for how we can actually disinfect some of these uh, uh, items, particularly the N95 respirators. Um, there are well-established protocols to do that with UV light, which we already have in-house. So the caregivers aren't taking those N95 respirators home necessarily, but they are going home in their scrubs. So what's the guidelines on that? Is it safe to go home in your scrubs? Should you be, you know, a lot, some people are asking, should they be getting changed in their garage? Yeah, so that's really not, one of those things that not that is not well known. Um, we know that COVID can survive on fabrics for some period of time that's not well defined. Now again, they're, use, they're wearing PPE over their scrubs. So the scrubs themselves are not anything that's protective, but the PPE that they're wearing on top of that should be protecting their clothing from being contaminated. That said, we know that some people are going to be more comfortable changing clothes um, when they when they go home and that's perfectly fine. We're not mandating that they do that. And moving on to the public side, what are the guidelines on members of the public wearing masks day to day? There really is very limited, actually no evidence that wearing a mask when you're out in public, if you're not sick, um, does anything to protect you. Um, we really want to preserve those masks for the healthcare workers who really need them. So we know that if someone, if you're actually having symptoms, wearing a mask is known as source control. It, it prevents you from um, you know, coughing germs out to other people. So that is an appropriate time to wear a mask. But if you're otherwise well and you're not working in healthcare and you're not caring for someone who's sick, it probably is not really that effective. And how would you describe the general kind of feeling at Christiana Care right now? So, I mean, I think, you know, we are a healthcare system. Um, this is what we do. Uh, it obviously, just like everyone else out in the world, it's a very anxiety provoking situation. We've never been through something like this before. And so I think it's pretty, um, it's, it's normal for, for people, whether they're a care caregiver or not, to be um, concerned or worried or anxious. Um, but as I and my team have been going around the hospital, I think, you know, I've been struck by how, just how resilient people are. You know, this is their job. They come, they come to work every day, taking care of patients, and they'll continue to do that, knowing that they are putting themselves at some increased risk. You know, all our PPE and all our other protocols is designed to keep them as safe as possible, um, but they really are the heroes in this. Great, thank you. And before we let you go, what is your main message for how people who are watching today can help? 
So I think the most important thing is that people follow the guidelines that are out there around staying at home unless you really have to leave, the social distancing. You know, really everyone should be, at, should be behaving as if they themselves could have COVID. That means being very conscious of who you're coming in contact with, what you're touching, not touching your face, um, washing your hands frequently, and just really following all those social distancing um, measures that are really, really inconvenient. I know by now people are probably getting pretty bored staying at home, but it's really, really important that we, you know, we, we you know, stop the transmission of this, allow our hospitals to take care of the patients we have, um, and not, not continue to see that, that increase. Thank you very much for joining us today, and thank you for watching this update. If you have any other questions or concerns, please continue to follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and all of our other channels where you find our information. Visit our website, christianacare.org, and we will continue to post throughout the coming weeks. Thank you.